if the administration doesn't think it matters, then there wouldn't be people waiting in the chaos in the lines for $3.16 a gallon gasoline. It matters. And what it's saying more than it matters, it's saying that people are extremely aware. And when the polls, as they are still being taken, in Virginia, we hear over and over again inflation and the economy over and over again. Now, I know that the administration is trying to put this some kind of happy face on what is happening. They're still trying to take a victory lap any chance they get. But the fact of the matter is, prices do matter. Even for people that might be considered a little bit more affluent, prices matter. And this is just one small example, but I think it is an example of behavior around the country. I have pulled into many a gas station in my life only to pull out and go somewhere else when I look at the prices. People are concerned. When we go in the supermarkets, everybody is concerned about the prices. We might not, men might not uh, uh, notice it as much as our wives do, but they notice it. It is expensive. And it is getting more expensive, and we are will get to a point by the end of this year, which I believe this has already started to happen, where consumers will start changing their buying habits. This happened in 2009, 2000, late 2008, 2009. People are changing their Spending habits, for instance, instead of buying the branded Cheerios, I don't know who makes Cheerios, I I don't remember, but Cheerios, they're buying store brand Cheerios. They're, instead of buying beef, they're buying chicken, or instead of chicken, they're buying pork, whatever is lower expensive. They're buying store, store brand. So all of those things start weighing on Markets in the economy. And what will start to happen, we've already seen this, markets will cut back on brands that they sell because they're not going to continue to maintain high inventories of certain food kinds of items, especially those that have expiration dates that are relatively a short period of time. They're not going to carry them if they're not selling them. So they will increase the shelf space to take up what behavior is changing to. And we are going to start seeing more and more of that. So look, when we look at demand prices rising 8.6%, when we have been living in an environment For the last 16 years of zero inflation for all practical purposes, and now we are getting clobbered at an 8.6 rate and a a core inflation price of 6.2%, not including energy and uh, utilities, energy uh, and food, not including those things. People are starting to change and people are also going to start to change because of the rapid pace in which this has happened and in which there was none of it before the pandemic or better, let me say it this way, there was none of this during a Trump administration when we had an administration that cared much more about the consumer than they did an agenda. 
and people that were not in tune with that before are now. It's not a testimony of people saying, oh, I just, I miss President Trump. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not a situation where people that despise President Trump Trump now love him. That's not the point. That's not what I'm trying to say here. What I am saying here, what I'm saying here is that those people that despised the president and voted for President Biden have severe buyer's remorse right now because even though they won't allow the the words of Trump, the, the name Trump to come out of their mouth, they understand if they have any sense whatsoever what was going on in the last administration and have the abilities to compare it to this administration. And it is literally night and day. It is the light against the darkness. It is night and day. And they are seeing what the darkness brings. It doesn't bring prosperity. It doesn't bring pride in America. It doesn't bring unity to the American people. It doesn't bring a sense of security and safety to the American people. It doesn't remind the union workers in the trades that having a job is more important than having a political stance. All of these reminders are coming flooding in to the people. And I will give you an example. It also came flooding in to the people of the state of Virginia and other parts that were holding of the country that were holding election. It is these kinds of things. They're not going to admit that. They're not going to say that's what's happening. And who cares if they do? It's irrelevant. What's relevant is they start to get right-minded and start to say that this administration is not caring a lick about the American people. This administration has opened up the borders, has allowed crime and drug dealers to come in at record numbers as we see record crime numbers, as we see record overdoses, when we see opioid addictions expanding in areas of the country that they never were in. All because this president, listen to me, all because this president has opened the borders wide open. They would do away with borders altogether if they could. As a matter of fact, as a cost-saving measure for all their spending, maybe they just want to do away with border control. At that point... We will not be a country anymore. Do we understand that? I'm not talking about a country like we used to be. I mean a country. We will be just a vast land in the middle of a continent. A vast land where people are living and trying to make a living. And people are flocking to any way they want to that are still going to be hung up, they will learn, but still going to be hung up that this is the land of prosperity. They will figure out that that prosperity has been robbed from us when we opened up our borders. How many of the voters of America have watched TV, have seen the scenes of the homelessness, You're not seeing those scenes. You have to search for those scenes because the state-run propaganda machine of the state-run media will not allow those pictures to be shown. They're not showing pictures of San Francisco who 
you know, uh, Walgreens has left. Has left. Walgreens is saying we're not going to have any stores in San Francisco. We shut them all down. The other drugstore chains will soon follow suit. People in San Francisco will have to drive who knows how far in order to get a prescription filled. All because of an administration. This is an administration and a far left progressive agenda that wants people to be woke. Guess what? Their wish is coming true. People are woke all right. They're waking up to the depravity and the the incompetence of an administration that's driving our country into the ground. Hey, remember to click the subscribe button right here on the screen. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is added. And more importantly than anything, you don't want to miss all three live hours of financial issues every day from 9 to noon. And you can watch it on FISM.TV. That's FISM.TV.